So Cancers, welcome to your love, romance, and relationship reading. I mentioned earlier that I feel a lot of trips taken, a lot of time, energy, resources, finances as well, invested in a new relationship partner. And I feel like you're definitely on the same page. It doesn't feel to me lopsided. It doesn't feel to me like one person is putting in more effort than the other. But I feel like you've got somebody in your life that is uh, a little bit more on the extravagant side. And so you might be trying to please them. You might be, you know, uh, spending money very lavishly because the other person is more extravagant. So please be careful about that, okay? Um, if they like you, they're not going to care how much money you're spending. So don't wear yourself out. Don't make yourself like you know your bank account in the red just trying to please somebody i mention a lot as well of um they say non-traditional relationships so i feel like you know same-sex relationships for um for example or even relationships where there are you know cultural linguistic divide between the two of you and also long distance relationships so those are you know usually what i encounter or what i would um when I see that non-traditional element in a relationship, so that's what I, I usually think of first. And I'm sensing the relationship makes you happy, but it's kind of hard to have a stable home base with that other person, okay? I feel like you're doing a lot of social outing, like uh, going out, you know, um, socializing, meeting other people, uh, whining, dining with another person. And so be careful about your financial situation, okay? So let me see what's going on for Cancerian people, for love, romance, relationship. Okay. <clears throat> so let me talk about this, the foundation, because I feel like all of these might represent different situations, but let me talk about this, this situation here. So I have here the Queen of Cups, and the foundation is something that you know to be true. The foundation is something that is very solid, very stable, for very pragmatic. And tying in with the previous reading that I did for you, I feel like this is something that you, despite everything else that's going on in your life, this is something that you know to be true. This is something that you can rely on. And this is something that is, you know, the foundation of your life right now. It's the one sure rock and anchor in your love life, okay? So first we have here the Queen of Cups. This is a really beautiful energy. Someone who's very loving, who's very, very kind, who is, um, might be a little bit on the needy end. You know, they, they might like... Um, want to spend a lot of time with you. They like to cook for you. They like to take care of you. They like to nurture you. And they're very, very non-judgmental. So that means you can tell them the most uh, bizarre, absurd story and they never bat an eye. This is also someone who's really, really loving and they, they, they care about you on a deep human level. They want to make sure you're okay. They want to make sure that you're well fed. And I feel like they take really good care of you. Some of you might be dealing with this person as a romantic partner. We have here another Cancer, a Scorpio, or a um, Pisces. Um, I feel like if this is somebody that you've been through some difficulties with, like, you know, they're a good person. And I feel like there is an element here about you maybe not wanting to be with them anymore but they're such a good person you don't know how to break it to them does that make sense so if you're dealing with this person you know be fair to them if you feel like you cannot love them you need to cut them loose because it deprives them the opportunity of finding somebody that they can shower all this love and affection with because you know in in life it is actually very hard for us to find really good people and so you know that, and this is a really good person, and that's why you're kind of like, um, on the one hand, you know, I, I don't really love them, but on the other hand, they're such a great person. If, I if, if they leave me, they're going to get snatched up. So I feel like some of you have to make this really important decision and try to make this decision from a space where you're not hoarding, where you're not being selfish. And just come to realize that if you can't give this person what they deserve, try to let them go so they can find somebody that is deserving of them, okay? 
I'm feeling like this is somebody that is a little bit too much for you emotionally, okay? It seems like a really beautiful, very attractive, very loving person. Um, I'm, you know, I, I you don't usually pick up, you know, characteristics with this card, but I do feel it's somebody with, you know, lighter hair, fairer skin, and it's somebody that is, um, they're, they're very nurturing. But I feel like you might be bored with them. You might feel like the relationship is a little bit too heavy. And so some of you might be wanting to withdraw from this person. We also have as well the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, this is a really smart, no-nonsense type of a woman. She knows what she wants. She's not the most like affectionate, warm, um, loving person. But she has a good heart, okay? very honest, very straightforward, um, doesn't really tolerate BS very well, very, very clear and blunt when it comes to her communication. So some of you are kind of like deciding between these two people. This one has, you know, that emotional soft energy, whereas this one has that intellectual um, strong energy. So I feel like if you are deciding between these two women or these two people, they can be male or female. The cards are not gender specific for these general readings. If you are deciding between these two people, I feel like it is a very difficult decision because they're both amazing people and they both embody, you know, this is like the ultimate, um, they embody the soft energy, whereas this one is more pragmatic, practical and intellectual. So. I feel like you are in a tough spot. And we have here the Page of Swords in the middle. Seems to me like one person might have a child and the other person is single. So it feels to me like there might be some concerns as it relates to children, some concerns as to, on the one hand, this person would be a great mother or father, but then on the other hand, this person is so exciting and so stimulating to me intellectually. So I feel like you're kind of stuck in the middle trying to decide. Um, not sure who to go with and not sure who to decide on. But I, I do feel, especially for those of you who are males watching this, dating women. So like um, Cancerian people dating women. I feel like you have two options on the table for you. And you're kind of like not really sure what to choose if you are just seeing one of them exclusively, I feel like this air sign is um, is very, very good. But this water sign, I'm sensing like you might be thinking, um, you, you might really be thinking like, is this enough for me? Okay. In the past, let me talk about this. We have here the two of cups in the reverse position, as well as the two of swords. So... The Two of Cups is a situation where you and another person came together in a very, it, it feels very faded, it feels very serendipitous, it feels almost like it couldn't be a co coincidence, like the universe had to, you know, work its magic for the two of you to come together. So it, it just felt very dreamlike and it felt very fortunate. And um, I feel like the way in which you met another person in your past you always thought that you know the relationship was going to go the distance you always thought that the relationship was going to lead down marriage lead down lead to um you know that stability lead to a long-term engagement and then along the way you found out that there were things about the other person that you weren't jiving with you might have found out as well that they weren't as generous or they weren't as in tune with you um as, as you thought and you know on the one hand I feel like some of you are dealing with this um, it's always flattering to be to feel wanted and needed and loved and adored by your relationship partner right it's always nice and it makes us feel uh, very reassuring but I feel like the emotional demands in that relationship became too much either the other person was too needy or you couldn't get this that emotional uh, investment from the person. So I feel like there was a lack of emotional investment or there was a lack of like one person was demanding too much and the other person could not deliver. And that created a breakdown in the relationship. It, it ended. 
And you've always wondered, was it the right decision? Did I do the right thing? Um, because it felt like, it felt so faded, right? You always wondered, like, did I do the right thing? And I feel like recently it got to the point where you actually got confirmation that yes, you did the right thing because you and the other person, you might care about each other, but you had like zero compatibility. The timing was very off between the two of you. So yes, the love was there, but lack of compatibility means that it's really hard to create a life together. Which brings us to the present moment. I have here the Three of Cups, and I have as well the Hermit. Some of you are doing this, the Hermit, uh, kind of like the outsider looking in, not really dating, not getting your feet wet, not really meeting a lot of people, taking care of your own situation. There might be people soliciting you for dating, for going out, but I feel like you're keeping yourself very, very secluded. You're keeping yourself sequestered because I feel like you're trying to not repeat this. You're trying to be a little bit more careful and you're just trying to get your life under control. You're trying to get your life in order. And then I'm also sensing as well, you might have broken up with somebody that you thought was the love of your life and you're doing a little bit of spying here, looking into what they're doing, seeing if they're dating, seeing if you can, um, you know, like kind of like just spying, social media spying, wondering what they're up to. And then I feel like for some of you, you've met somebody new, either an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and then a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And you're trying to gauge the viability of the relationship. You might have some trust issues, some doubts. Are they cheating on me? Are they with somebody else? Are they that good of a person? Is it like, you know, is it real? Is it too good to be true? So I feel like you're doubting some aspect of your current relationship. You might also be dating somebody who's very, who has a very, very vibrant social life and they might leave you to hang out with their friends or they might have a lot of uh, social engagement that they're constantly going to and you feel like, oh no, you know, like you, you feel like they're not 100% invested in you. And crowning this reading is something that you're thinking about. We have here the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. The Empress, this is a, um, a, a person that has a title. This might have been a person you were married to. You might have shared family with. You might have shared bank accounts with. You might share children with. So I feel like a lot of you are at a point where a relationship recently ended, something that you thought would go the distance. It has recently ended, and the person that you're involved with is very, very difficult. He or she is not operating at their best. They're kind of like nickel and diming you, and they're being very um, difficult and stingy and calculating when it comes to money and finances. And I feel like they have a little bit of a hold over you. They might be a little bit more on the manipulative end with this in the reverse. It's linked up here with the Ten of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like you still have residual assets that you're trying to clear up with this person and it's becoming very, very aggravating. And so some of you, you might have gotten out of this situation. It's left a bitter taste in your mouth and that's why you're being extra cautious before you start dating. And then some of you, if it's a newly divorced case, you're still trying to figure out you know, what they're up to. Um, you might also be dealing as well with, you know, um, bad energies from in-laws. Their in-laws might be, their parents or their family members might be involved in the relationship. And I feel like it's just too much hostility between two people. And I feel like it left a bitter taste in your mouth and you're trying not to enter into a new relationship because you don't want that interference. Moving forward. We are going to get past this, okay? We have here the death card. This is basically major transitions coming in, new transformations, new opportunities, leaving the past behind for good and forging a new path for yourself. So with the death card, it's something that is very irrevocable. So if you're wondering, am I getting back with that person? If this sounds familiar, the answer is no. You're going to be moving on. You're not going to be fighting anymore. The other person is going to... Um, I, I feel like release you from this burden so that you can move on out and you can move on on your own. 
Um, I feel, honestly, cancers. I feel like there's some financial entanglements that is still not finished, that you are um, from your ex. If you are dating right now, I feel like you're not being 100% honest. That's what I'm sensing, okay? And so try your best to be honest. If you're dealing with this energy, he or she is an inquisitive person. They're going to find out either way. So you want to reveal it first. And then, you know, they can actually help you extract yourself. They can give you, you know, creative solutions to help you. But if they find out on their own, I don't think it's going to be pretty, okay? So be very, very truthful and honest here. And I want to say as well, um, something happened in the past that left a really, really bitter taste in your mouth. It's, it's made you very scared about opening up. It's made you very, very scared about relationships, it's made you really scared, like, is my family crazy? Is my, is the new person going to be accepting of my family? Am I, you know, am I um, raised a specific way that's not normal? So I feel a lot of questions about how you were raised, whether or not your childhood is normal, whether or not your family um, is appropriate, socially appropriate, whether or not your the new person is going to like your family or whether or not your family members are the best people as well so i feel like you have some things here that you might be a little bit ashamed about in terms of introducing your family to your new person and the new person to your family so i feel like you're taking things slow which is good but i, I can honestly say for you don't be scared of it if they really care about you, they care about you as an individual. They're not going to take all this baggage and clump you together with it, okay? Um, so that's for people who are single dating. I feel like if you're in a really good relationship right now, okay? But I also feel like you have a lot of things in your life that you need to straighten out. And so don't bring that person, that relationship partner for the ride if you have some things that you know you need to straighten out. And then I also feel as well conflict is going to get resolved okay this showed up in the reverse so the seven of wands is a card about conflict it's a card about being on the offense i feel this energy is going to clear up for you in the time of scorpio which is next month toward uh, the end of this month moving into next month okay so things will be okay things will be fine um if you are out dating I honestly feel like if you're single, there are some things you need to work out. But we have here another water sign and a an air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and an air sign. Um, I'm sorry, and a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. These will be really good options for you, okay? So do a little bit of dating. Get yourself out of your rut, all right? Don't isolate yourself like this. Don't be scared, okay? So I wish you all the best. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.